What's up, Savvy Expats? Today we're gonna be checking out the Jordan store. So for any of you shoe lovers, sneaker heads, this video is perfect. So without wasting time, let's get straight into it. All right, you guys, so we're just walking through this area. Back there, there's a restaurant called Nono's. They have really good food there. I tried their uh, beef tapa yesterday and my sister tried the Eggs Benedict. So I recommend that. And right next to Nono's, you have the Jordan store. So as you guys know, we start Christmas very early here in the Philippines. So they have this gigantic Christmas tree just right outside the Jordan store. So if you guys are coming here, check out the Christmas tree and the decoration looks awesome. Alright guys, walking into the store, the music is blasting. I feel like my eardrums are about to fall off, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted. But so you actually have clothes. I thought this was mostly a shoe store, but uh, as it is a Jordan store, you have a lot of Jordan clothes and products like that. So from the looks of it, you have a bunch of sweaters, sweatpants, shoes, a ton of different options here. So it's pretty cool. Hey, how's it going? Here you have some cool jerseys, LA Clippers, Lakers, and check out these Jordans down here too. And they even have a custom made Jordan shoe. It's a green Jordan shoe because of the love for basketball here in Metro Manila. So Retro Manila, that's the name. So that's really cool. Very clever too, Retro Manila. So this store, guys, is not really that big. Uh, here's the center area where you have more shoes here. And I'll show you guys everything they have. I'll be honest, guys, I'm not really a sneaker head, so I can't tell you all the different types here. But uh, these are the shoes you have here. Yeah, so a ton of different options. I mean, I have never seen anything like this before. Jordan flip-flops. They look ugly. I'll just be honest, guys. <laughs> Uh, but as for the shoes, I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, so I honestly don't have much to say about the shoes because I'm not much of a sneakerhead, like I said. But as for these three on the shelf right here, these are really cool. Let's see what else we have here. Look at that. Yeah, so I'll give you guys an idea of the layout. That's the entryway. We walk down here. We are looking at all the sweatpants, all the sweaters. And then you walk to the center, and here you have all the shoes pretty much. So this place is really cool. Let's see what we have on this side, guys. More Air Jordans. I want you guys to comment down below. If you guys are sneakerheads and you're a big fan of Jordan shoes, comment down below some of the, uh, the names of the Jordans and also what your thoughts are too. Or you can even leave a timestamp, tell me which one's your favorite look. So as you guys can see, they even have styles for kids here. If you have kids that you're trying to make look cool, yeah, buy some Jordans here. All right, guys, let's take a left and see what they have on the other side of the store. Okay, off the bat, let's check out these Jordans. These ones look cool. And so, like I said, guys, it's not really a big store at all. You have the boys' options to the left, the girls' options to the right, and then in the middle, you have all the sneakers on display. On the right side of this store, we have all of these flashier shoes, fully gold decked out shoes, and uh, also some white shoes. I actually like this area more because they have the labels and the name of the shoes and when they were put out, so you get a little bit more uh, info on that. And so yeah, really cool. I've never seen a completely gold shoe. I don't, I don't know. Would you guys wear this outside? <laughs> and here we have more clothing options. You guys have clothing options for kids as well. Like I said, the sweaters, you have hats, and then down this way, let's see what they have on display here. Immediately I see some different color shoelaces. That's cool. You choose your own option. So I think what's actually really cool about this store is you can get a lot of these shoes custom styled. Of course you have the body of the shoe like this, but then again, you can add whatever color shoelace you want, and then whatever color, um, whatever you'd call this. 
onto here. So it's kind of like a little gold plating on it. And what's cool about it is that you have the initials, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the initials say MNL, which is Manila. And then you have the Jordan logos. <laughs> Even a Jipney that says Jordan on it, on that shirt. Interesting. All right, let's see what we have here. So, and like I said guys, this, uh, this side right over here, down there, is the boy section. On this side over here, we have mostly girl clothes. Oversized t-shirts, sweatpants, cool. And then some display here as well, as you guys can see. At least by this video guys, you know that there's a Jordan store in Manila. Like I said guys, this was open just recently and one of the employees told me that they're coming up on their one year anniversary. And so there you guys have the Jordan store. It's honestly not really a big store. It doesn't take too long to explore and check out all their options. Again, if you're a sneakerhead, check it out. A lot of different kinds of shoes there. You guys would probably know better than I do. And overall, the environment outside is nice. Like I said, down there, you have no-nos and you also have a coffee bean and tea leaf. And actually, the, one of the guards told me I couldn't vlog anymore, but by then we already looked at pretty much all the options. And now I wanna show you guys some of the environment beside it so that if you want to shop here you can see what else they have in the area so right there you have the Christmas tree right there is the Jordan store and then you keep on walking you have this sort of deck area an awesome skyline view here and right here guys we have the Bentley dealership as you can see they have luxury high-end Bentleys here which look awesome Cool color. And by the way, I met a new friend. What's up? Hi. What's your name? Albert. Albert. Yeah, so Albert and I were just talking about uh, cars and how he's also enthusiastic about sports cars. His favorite is the? Koenigsegg Regatta. Koenigsegg. European, guys. Yeah. I told him that my favorite at the moment is the Ferrari Monza. And right now, we're just going to walk around the corner and check out one of the Lamborghini shops or dealerships. This is the Bentley. Okay. I don't know if we could, you know, film inside. I'm guessing they're probably a little strict because about that. This is the Audi. Audi. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, they have a lot of options here. This is the Lamborghini. Okay, so we have Audi on this side, Porsche, and Lamborghini. That's so awesome. The Ferrari is right on the St. Luke's Medical Center. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yes, that's, that's right. That's the Porsche. Wow. They have Porsche Taycan. And they have the Lamborghini Urus right here. Lamborghini Urus. I really like this SUV. I think this is nice. an Aventador. Wow. There's the Lamborghini Urus. And Adventador, I believe you said? I'm mostly a Ferrari fan. Uh, but when it comes to Lamborghinis, I'm not too knowledgeable on that. Yeah, so for those of you guys that don't know if you're an expat, and you probably never knew that the Philippines had cars like this. I really recommend you check it out as an enthusiast. Because a lot of people, they don't know they have cars like this in Manila. So, so you said your favorite car is the Koenigsegg? Yeah. And what else? What other uh, cars do you like? Aston Martin. Definitely. McLaren, for sure. I think Ferrari would oh, mm. be okay. But yeah. for me, I like Lamborghini Veneno. Veneno? Okay. Yes. So there is the Lamborghini store. Awesome. That will cost you a fortune. <laughs> oh, for, for sure, definitely. So Albert and I are just talking about uh, the whole situation. A lot of expats, not expats, but foreigners think that the Philippines is a poor country, everybody's poor, and yeah. it's not the case. It is. We were actually talking about there's a lot of silent billionaires here, Diva. Yes. We have like, the known ones are Henry C, Maria Isabel de Ayala, some other celebrities, local celebrities who are, who happens to be a billionaire, mm -hmm. like Willie Rebellion Man. Willie Rebellion Man used to go here in mm -hmm. Lamborghini store. And um, we have like Manny Pacquiao, of course. Yes. Our most renowned boxer. And yeah, some of them are just walking around. Maybe you could see them, yeah, uh, wave your hands with them. Uh -huh sure like just coming across them it's nothing really nothing uh, really uncommon. special yeah yeah there's a lot of money here in the philippines and i just wanted to point that out for you guys because Alvin and i were talking about it and that's a huge misconception i remember even before i moved to here to the philippines one of my classmates he asked me why are you moving to the philippines it's a third world country it's poor uh, but they just don't understand they don't realize so some of the filipino students mm -hmm. maybe the rich ones um, used to study and I, I met before mm -hmm. and his 
studying in Harvard University in the States. Right. And one, another one in uh, Cambridge University. Right. And uh, some in well, Wellington. Yeah, yeah, we have like more expensive uh, school here, the Brent International mm. School. We have the British International School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Albert, he does have expensive taste. We were also talking about the Shangri-La, right? Yeah. Which is just back there. What, what store did you say they have there? Uh, a Sobrano. It is a, um, a furniture shop mm -hmm. with uh, Fendi Armani Bottega Veneta in it. I didn't know that, so it's great that we came across Albert because uh, he knows all these different places that you guys can check out there at the Shangri-La. And another store Albert is showing me over here is the Aston Martin. They have the SUV here. Yes. And now we're near the Ferrari store nearby in this dealership you have the Maseratis. Awesome. So we're just gonna walk to the Ferrari area. Look at this Maserati. So right here, right next to the Ferrari store, here's the Maseratis. And then right over here you have the Ferrari store. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Ferrari I think Italia. Oh no, it's San Francisco. Yeah. It's California. It's either California or looks like a 458 Italia to me. Or a spider. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see the views of the Ferraris. This one's a California. Here you can get a better view of the Ferrari California. And so if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. In my next video, I plan on doing culture shocks of living in the Philippines. I'm Filipino, but I was raised in the States, so there's a lot of differences I noticed. So let's get this video to 100 likes if you want to see that next. And also be sure to subscribe because we are close to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.